In the next set of problems, we are asked to compare the relative strengths of acids and bases. To do this, we need a table of Ka values and Kb values, such as this one. I prepared a table including the Ka values for each acid. I also included pKa, Kb, pKb values because I want you to see how the Ka values compare to these other three values relative to the acid ranking. Remember, the Ka is the equilibrium constant for the acid. The smaller the Ka, the less the acid will ionize. The strongest acid on this list is HNO2. The weakest is H2S. Notice how the pKa values trend with the ranking. The weakest acid has the largest pKa value, and the strongest acid has the smallest pKa value. Now let's take a look at the Kb values and compare them to the acid ranking. Since stronger acids will ionize their acidic hydrogens more than weaker acids, weaker acids tend to hang on to their acidic hydrogens more, it makes sense that the strongest acid has the smallest Kb value associated with it. In other words, its conjugate base is a very weak base compared to the weakest acid. The weakest acid in this case, has a stronger conjugate base. You can also see the weakest base, in this case the conjugate base of HNO2, has the largest pKb value, and the weakest acid, H2S, has the strongest conjugate base among these three. I prepared another table for this next problem, including Ka values. The most acidic acid in this set of weak acids is H2SO3. It has a Ka of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 2, the largest Ka value among these three. Notice again, the strongest acid has the smallest pKa value, and also has the smallest Kb value for its conjugate base. And finally, notice again, the strongest acid with the smallest pKa value has the largest pKb value. One final note, H2SO3, H3PO4 are polyprotic acids. Polyprotic acids have at least two Ka values. H2SO3 has two Ka values because of the two acidic hydrogens and H3PO4 has three Ka values because of the three acidic hydrogens. I only included one Ka value, and this is the first Ka value for the first ionization. The hydrogens on polyprotic acids do not ionize simultaneously. In other words, they don't come off the molecule at the same time. They ionize sequentially. Therefore, for each sequence of ionization, there is a Ka value. Because the Ka values are reasonably small for the subsequent hydrogens that ionize, it is accepted to use only the first Ka or the first ionization constant for polyprotic acids.